from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. It's game number and welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Dan McLaughlin. That's Brad Thompson. But there was one home run hit by St. Louis. Nolan are of group. Players with 30 and 100. Aaron on the mound for St. Louis. Game number. He's talked about it. His body feels good, but the ball's just not coming out of his hand. The St. Louis Cardinals and the LA Dodgers in the rubber game. Brad Thompson and Jim Hayes, I'm Dan McLaughlin. Runs including number 699 and 700 for Albert Poole. Brendan Donovan, Lars Newtbar, Paul Goldschmidt, and Tommy Edmond facing right-hander. He's a good fastball, but it really is bread and butter or a couple of breaking ball. Good, it's 12-6. Lead it off for St. Louis. And the first pitch is strike. And the magic number to clinch the set. The Brewers and the Reds tied 1-1. Late in that ball, they won four straight. Now a game and a half out. The Phillies and the Padres have been jockeying back and forth. And the 0-2 pitch did not go. Mike Estabrook at second, Ted Barrett. The crew big shift for Brendan Donovan, hitting 2-7. The 1-2. There's a curveball. Look at the lineup with Donovan at the top of it. And this is a guy that just makes the pitch to two strikes. Inevitably, it's going to be 3-2. He'll be drawing. And the 2-2 pitch. Going back, Gallo. And he robs him of a couple of breaking balls down. Gallo makes a really good play. First pick. Joey Gallo, very good defender to get out of New York. It's a tough situation for him. It just didn't here, here in LA. Tremendous athlete. A careful running on him. And the and Newt Bar is out number two. And then scratched. Gavin Lux at second. Trey J. Dobbs. The 1-0. Gold. And he flips to Grove and a fine play. But Adams got to uses his cutter a lot. Uncle Charles just bounced back in this one. Last four outings for Wayno. He's for Wayno. And the lineup that he'll face, it's a good one tonight. Justin Turner, Max Muncy, Joey Gallo, Gavin Lux. He along with Yadier Molina making their three as battery mates this afternoon. And the first pitch is 26th career appearance today, passing Cardinal and Cardinals history. They're chatting with home plate umpire Lance Barksdale. He's going to 1 1 pitch to Betts. Left center, Carlson back at the wall. And 327 starts together here today. The infield, Dickerson, Carlson, Newt Barr in the outfit, his 36th home run. And here's Trey Turner. And that's not his slowest breaking ball, too, as you know. Free agent to be. A lot of talk that. You got a feeling there are going to be a lot of teams in that sweep. And you know the Dodgers. Back. Yeah, I'd be surprised, honestly, if they let him go. I mean, they, they because they knew they had Trey Turner there. I don't think that there's an the three-one to Turner off the plate. I'm not necessarily talking about the Dodger hitters, but I'm kind of talking. about been able to finish the pitches early on in this one. Actually, lefties with the cutter and sink that sinker into the right-hander. There's Freeman. There's Tor. Batting 3.28. That lead. Ouch. In the lineup last night, late scratch with an illness. Is good, but it certainly feels different with that guy in it. Agreed. There's the numbers I was talking about in St. Louis. Freddie pops comes in with a guy like Turner, and Wainwright throws his breaking ball a lot with a little bit longer. It's like a, they're hoping that we do. Bigger bases next year will be incorporated as well with a shift on the right side. Frames it out to right center, all the way to the wall. We'll score, and it's one to nothing, Los Angeles. Hitting 264, and the Wayno is throwing a breaking ball. That's most in baseball. 
So Freddie Freeman now 10 for 1 2. I mean, he really went down there and got Smith on a five game hitting streak coming into play. Eight for his last. The 1 1 pitch by Adam Wainwright. Center, and it drops. And first and third for Justin Turner. In many ways, Justin Turner, this great run that the Dodgers directed his career with the Dodgers, East him. And he's hit by the pit. And hitting 204. The owner of two career grand slams. Big shift on. And the 1 0 pitch. Cut back down and in. That's a place where Muncy. Could the 1 1. 1 and 2. Picking up. But still towards the third. We're going to have to get Tommy Edmond back to the bag quickly. Yep. And the 1 2. Muncie at a mid the 2 2 curveball caught uh, the three true outcomes in base there sure is last year he led the I mean you're that's what you're getting and really his power is and with five home runs and the first original and the 1 0 and hasn't been over the years, but you will pay the 1-1. One, one. He'll get him up there, but you better make sure it's up. Big shift right side. Curveball misses outside. and Against Wainwright, one for seven with the bases loaded. Well, he's never afraid to throw that. Break. With the cutter down and in right there. Got Gallo to pull. Mike, it's going to work here. Need to get him to swing through it or inning. Runners off with the pitch. Go with the breaking ball. Two walks in the inning. Cardinals are fortunate. Got a couple of off days coming up. Regard Adam Ali telling us. You know, 80, 85 to build in. Corey Dickerson under it and makes the catch. <laughs> Nolan Arnato to lead it off for seasons of doing that. Incredible. It is incredible. And, and a jump the fastball. That's been the key here against Michael Grove. Seven against that pitch. Fouled back. Arnato, what in the world were we thinking by not having that up earlier? Part of it. I think that is yeah. a huge difference. And the 1 2. Hit down the. And the 1 2 pitch. Up and in. 